ever get that itch, you know, that urge to revisit a classic? Hmm. I'm talking about those games that were just groundbreaking back in the day. Yeah, yeah. For me, Doom was it. Oh, for sure. The pixelated graphics, the heart-stopping <laughs> jump scares. Absolutely. Just pure adrenaline. Yeah. But what if I told you there was a way to relive that? Okay. And not just with rose-tinted glasses, but with like a whole new dimension of awesome. Right. That's where our deep dive into Z-Doom begins. I like it. So It's more than just nostalgia. Okay. <laughs> it's about taking something classic yeah. and injecting it with modern power. Right. Yeah. We're talking about diving deep into the world of Z-Doom. Okay. Not just playing the game, yeah. but really understanding what makes it tick, right. why it's still relevant all these years later, and how you can even jump in and make it your own. Mm. And to really kick things off, yeah, we've got our source material right here. Okay. Excerpts from the official Doom website. <laughs> all right. Especially their start page. The start page is great. Yeah. That's the perfect launch pad because it really lays out the project's core. Okay. What ZDAM is, yeah. what it offers, right. and the whole community vibe that surrounds it. And that's what's got me intrigued. Okay. Because, you know, I see the term source port thrown around oh, and I'm picturing just another emulator. Yeah. But this feels different. It is different. Yeah. It is. It's like rebuilding a classic car with modern parts. Uh-huh. But keeping the soul intact. Yeah. You know? You've hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Z-Doom lets you experience these classic games the way they were meant to be played. On modern hardware. Right. With updated graphics. Yeah. And without those compatibility headaches that we used to deal yeah. with back in the day. You're still trying to get that old thing to run. Exactly. So it's like Doom. Yeah. But smoother. Smoother. And it can actually run on my computer without needing some ancient ritual to appease the tech gods. Exactly. Okay. Sign me up. Right. But it goes even further than that. Okay. One of Z-Doom's biggest selling points is the sheer level of customization it offers. Okay. Like... Just imagine right. playing Doom yeah. with the physics engine of Half-Life 2. Okay. Where enemies go flying realistically when you... Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Or tweaking the AI yeah. so that demons adapt to your combat style. That's the kind of wild stuff that Z-Doom allows. So now we're talking. Now we're talking. Yeah. Well, hold on. Fun. There's more. Yeah. Um, the website also mentions maximum game support. Right. And lists other games like Heretic and Hexen. Uh-huh. It's not just a Doom thing, is it? You've picked up on another layer here. Okay. Z-Doom isn't limited to just Doom. Right. It branches out to support other games built on the same engine technology known as id Tech 1. Okay. So it's like having a key right. that unlocks a treasure chest of classic shooters. I like it. So we're talking about a whole library of classic shooters all polished up and ready to run on today's machines. Yeah. That's already pretty cool. Right. But then the website dives into this whole world of mods in Zscript. Okay. And now I've dabbled in mods before. Yeah. But this feels different. It is. Like it's on another level. Think of it this way. Okay. Most mods you see are like adding a spoiler to a car. Okay. It looks cool. Yeah. But the car's still the same. Right. Z Doom mods yeah. are like taking that car, okay. stripping it down to the frame, right. and rebuilding it as a spaceship. Okay. You've got my attention. Yeah. But I'm no programmer. Right. Am, am I really expected to learn some complex coding language just to mess around with a Doom? And that's the beauty of Z Doom. Okay. It caters to everyone. All right. From the casual players. To the hardcore modders. Okay. While Zscript might sound intimidating. Yeah. It's really a testament to how much control ZDoom gives you. Okay. Remember those advanced mapping features we mentioned? Zscript is like the secret sauce that lets you take those maps and breathe life into them. Oh, okay. Want enemies to teleport, uh -huh. dodge attacks, or even switch sides. Hold on, seriously? Zscript can do that. People are making Doom Demons switch sides. Yeah. What's next? Are they baking cakes for the Doom Slayer? You laugh. But someone out there has probably tried to create a Doom mod where you bake cakes to defeat demons. Oh, my goodness. And that's the magic of Z-Doom. Oh. The possibilities are limitless. Wow. But let's get back to Z-Script for a second. Okay. Imagine you're building with Legos. Right. But instead of just snapping bricks together. Okay. You can program how those bricks behave. Okay. How they interact with each other. I see. That's Z-Script in a nutshell. So I'm starting to see why Z-Doom has such a dedicated following. 
It's not just a game, it's a canvas for creativity. Exactly. Speaking of which, the website mentions something called the id games archive. Yeah. What's the deal with that? Uh, the id games archive. Yeah. It's like the library of Alexandria for Doom mods. Okay. We're talking thousands upon thousands of user created levels. Wow. Weapons, characters, you name it. Okay. Want to fight alongside Master Chief from Halo in a Doom level set in a cyberpunk city? Okay. There's probably a mod for that. I'm picking up on a theme here. What's that? Constant updates, a massive library of mods, a community that can seemingly bend the laws of reality with enough code. Yeah. It almost sounds too good to be true. Right. What's the catch? The catch, if you can even call it that, okay. is that this incredible level of activity is fueled by the fact that ZDoom is open source. Okay. Anyone can contribute to its development. So you're saying anybody listening yeah. can jump in and be a part of this? Reporting bugs? suggesting features, or even diving into the code itself. Mm -hmm. It's like a giant collaborative art project where everyone has a paintbrush. Now that you mention it, I did notice that the website releases new development builds almost every single day. Almost every day. Who's driving this constant evolution? Right. It must take a massive team of developers to keep up that pace. And that's where it gets even more interesting. Okay. While there's a core team of dedicated developers. Right. A huge chunk of ZDoom's evolution is driven by its passionate community. Okay. People are constantly tweaking, improving, and experimenting, and they share their work freely. It's a testament to the power of collaboration and a shared love for a game that, let's be honest, could have easily faded into obscurity. So we've got this incredibly powerful engine that breathes new life into classic shooters. Yeah. This library of mods that seems to defy the limits of imagination. It really does. And a community that's more active than some small countries. Mm -hmm. Where do I sign up? You're in luck. Is there like a Z-Doom starter kit? <laughs> Remember that welcoming community we talked about? Yeah. They've got your back. Okay. The Z-Doom forums are a gold mine. Really? Tutorials, guides, and people who are always happy to help newcomers find their footing. Oh, Wow. It's like having a direct line to the masters of this digital domain. I like it. So to wrap things up then, yeah. ZDoom is more than just a way to replay old games. Right. It's like a portal to this passionate community. It is. A tool set for unleashing creativity and a testament to the fact that sometimes the best things in life are free and open source. You nailed it. Yeah. It's about taking something you love. Yeah. And making it your own. Right. Who knows? Maybe you'll discover a hidden talent for game design. Yeah. Or stumble upon a mod that completely changes the way you see these classic games. That's very true. Yeah. This whole deep dive has been eye-opening, to say the least. Yeah. I went from thinking Z-Doom was just an emulator to realizing it's like a whole universe of possibilities. It really is. So. What stands out to you as the most exciting possibility? Oh, man. If you were to dive headfirst into the world of Z-Doom, yeah. what's the first thing you would explore? That's a great question. Um, honestly, after seeing the sheer variety of mods out there, I'm tempted to try my hand at creating something myself. Okay. Maybe something simple to start. Right like on. a mod that replaces all the demons with rubber chickens. Okay. But hey, you never know where that first step might lead. That's the spirit. Right. And who knows? Yeah. Maybe someday we'll be featuring your Rubber Chicken Doom mod on a future episode of The Deep Dive. Yeah, there's a thought. Right. But until then, a huge thanks to you for guiding us through this fascinating world. Of course. And to all of you listening, we hope this deep dive has inspired you to explore the endless possibilities of Z-Doom. Absolutely. Until next time. <laughs>